Hey guys, Taylor here from Simply Betta. So today's just gonna be kind of a quick video. I've been falling behind in life um, a lot and I, I can't make a big video today. I really need to spend some time just like catching up on emails and mail and chores and and life and shipments and stuff like that, especially the shipments because we're supposed to get a ton of snow here tomorrow. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to take care of just my website orders and try to get them out before five today. So it's just gonna be a busy day filled with stuff and I have my little girl all day today too. She's taking a nap. But I figured you know, today might be kind of a fun day to talk about something that my local gym is doing. My local gym has a really good kids program and they're actually raising trout inside, inside the gym, like right in the little entryway it's really cool so for the past like couple weeks every time I go in I've just been watching these little fish develop um, they started just as you know the little orange eggs and then sure enough I got to see baby trout develop and it was really cool and I love that my gym's doing this and they're actually gonna be releasing these fish into the wild with the kids once the fry are grown enough so my gym has a pretty cool kids program and they're actually they have a fish tank here right now and they're hatching out baby trout and it's like this little experiment. They got some trout eggs from the hatchery and um, they're actually in here right now. Look, look, they're so cute and tiny. Look at those little trout. Gosh, they're so big compared to the betta fry that I'm used to. They're still attached to the yolk sacs and they're just kind of wiggling around being all cute. And this is, it's just really neat. It's so cool to see and then um, the kids, you know, once these, these fish grow to a certain size, the kids are going to release them into, I think, some nearby streams. So this fish tank isn't properly cycled. Um, I actually asked one of the directors here because I kind of noticed it, and I offered to go ahead and bring in one of my sponge filters. Now this is just an intake filter. I'm going to put it over the intake of the hang on back filter. I've been, I have had this in my, you know, one of my really healthy tanks for I think about five days or a week now. And it should be enough time to, to seed this filter with some beneficial bacteria to get, the, to get the cycle going because there has been an ammonia spike in here. Uh, she measured it. I'm gonna put that over the hang on back filter just to protect these little fish, not only from the hang on back filter itself, but also the ammonia. Holy cow, that water is ridiculously cold. I kind of struggled for a minute putting the sponge, it's hard to see on the intake filter in there, but I did it and now I can hardly feel my hand. That water was so cold and that's because they have a chiller going and oh my gosh, my hands were like, I was trying to get the sponge onto the intake filter, onto the intake of the filter and like I was, I was like seizing up because the sponge was just a little bit too small and I was having a lot of trouble and my arm was going numb, it was so cold. So that's neat. Um, I'm gonna try to take like film and video of these little fish developing because they're still attached to the yolk sacs right now. They're just itty bitty and it's it's kind of neat. So in case it wasn't clear in the video, that tank wasn't cycled properly so its ammonia was spiking and so I offered to bring in some of my, like one of my sponge filters to help out with that. And especially to just cover the intake so once the fish were free swimming like they wouldn't get sucked up into the intake if that's even a problem with trout. I don't really know. But I was happy to help. These little trout are really cool and it's a neat thing for kids to see. So that was it. Quick video. I have a lot to do today. I need to go ahead and do it. I'm trying to get the 40 gallon tank rack um, done. And do you know the import order I teased about a little while ago? That's supposed to be coming hopefully tomorrow. But the weather is going to be really bad tomorrow. And that's not really something I could predict back when you know I ordered these fish. So I really just, fingers crossed, I really hope that this goes well. So cross your fingers for me. Ah, I hope those fish do really well and get to me safe. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully with a bigger video. Have a great day.